actually just look at one last uh, question, and sure. this is around the issue of dialogue yep. uh, and uh, the importance of dialogue. You were speaking there, but we can't dialogue with the international community if we're not talking amongst, amongst right. ourselves in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, when is this going to be done, particularly with um, uh, the opposition? Uh, and uh, has there been any communication with uh, the leaders of the opposition? Um, I would have walked out a very embittered man if you had not asked that question. Because I knew then uh, that question is uppermost on your mind and on the mind of your listeners. And that avoiding it would actually be very unfair to your listeners. Right. We are talking of dialogue writ large. And we are talking of dialogue with all interest groups. The youth, the church. You saw Vice President Chuenga Varuk uh, uh My business people. We have had my, uh, quite a cry from uh, my SMEs who were really, 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 um, who took a knock from, from the unrest. They need some kind of succor from government. Uh, established businesses, we are talking about uh, a discussion near various interest groups. Then we are also talking about my discussions near opposition. And opposition writ large. Go back to your statistics and remember the number of parties that participated in the July 30 elections. I get to, a, I hate a situation where the notion of opposition becomes synonymous with a person or one organization. It means we must have a broad based dialogue. Except a precondition for dialogue is that the interlocutors must know each other, respect each other, and give each other the status that they deserve. Now, you have a very interesting situation where in political terms, you have uh, one of the leaders of the opposition who lost elections, went to contest uh, that loss in the constitutional court, lost that contestation, still insists that uh, his interlocutor, in this case, President E. D. Nangagwa, is not legitimate. Right? Now, you are creating an acrimonious environment which doesn't promote dialogue. It does not help. Meanwhile, he needs the dialogue more than anyone else. I think we all need the dialogue. Yes, but some need it better, but more acutely than we do. You and me can dialogue like we are doing now without you having not to recognize me as the Deputy Chief Secretary. If he had, I would have worked out on you, isn't it? If I hadn't recognized that you are the person now manning the station, I would have, you would have worked out on me, isn't it? Right? The basic issue is let's accept the verdict of the people. Right? And start from that premise that this is a president and this is the leader of an opposition party. Then on the basis of that, we are then able to interact. No preconditions. You can't then have a situation where someone convenes a press conference to say no preconditions to dialogue, yet in fact he's setting preconditions himself. That's a contradiction in terms. So f I'm happy now that the street action has failed. I hope they come to their senses and realize that nothing short of jab, Jabba Jabba or Joe Joe will see us. So, so dialogue will happen? It will happen. Yep. But there must be the conditions that are necessary for it to happen. Right. Yes.